what is up guys welcome back to another wheelie system video thank you so much for tuning in in this video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to build the hobson short pickup truck pickup truck dash kind of tow truck thing from the movie it plays a crucial role in the movie and i literally just saw it today and it was such a good film so i needed to build something in minecraft for you guys to kind of represent the movie in all its glory so I mean, I'm not too happy about these little levers at the top, but you can always change them up, and I'll teach you how to change them up afterwards. They're supposed to represent horns, but of course, they don't look a little bit like a horn at the moment, but I can teach you guys a little bit more about that in a sec. Alright, so you will need red concrete, you will need a block of iron, you will need iron bars, block of coal, black wool, dark oak button for the uh, rims on the side of the wheels there, cobweb, these are supposed to represent rope for the back of the uh, tow, kind of, uh, what's it called, like a tow pulley system sort of thing glass block and a lever just a plain old lever which is always good okay so what you're going to do is you're going to come to your your area of the road this does actually take up five blocks of the road one two three four and five five blocks wide because the wheels stick out it's kind of like a uh, a go-kart sort of thing it's really cool so you're going to come one two three with your block of red concrete go up one and now we're going to come back to the grill afterwards. For now we're going to get our kind of base going. So we're going to go for a uh, one there of red concrete. Three blocks of iron back and then one up like so. Then you're going to block a coal on the top. This is supposed to represent the kind of thing that, that holds the uh, the crane bit at the back for like pulling other cars and other bits and bobs. I'm not going to spoil too much of the movie because I want you guys to go and watch it. It's so cool. If you get a chance to go and see it, definitely let me know in the comments section below. Alright, so now you're going to go, like, kind of one in from that one, and then one up, like so. You're going to grab your cobwebs and go down. You're just going to put a cobweb there, there, and there. It's supposed to represent the rope, so it goes back and hangs down just here. Just don't get caught in the cobwebs, because it's uh, always always a bit of a challenge to get out again, isn't it? Alright, now you're going to fill in this section with the red concrete, so go along and up one. Along and up one. You're going to fill this section of the floor in, well, maybe not that one yet, this bit. Uh, the reason we're not going to do this yet is because we need to put that iron, iron trap door up and these ones up. These are a nightmare to put up, but we'll, we'll go through it quickly uh, and uh, in, intently as we can. So, two pieces of glass there, and then one, like that. Looking pretty cool. Now you're going to grab your lever and stick it on the top there. And it already puts it this direction, which is always cool, but I'll, we'll come back to that later to show you the tip that I was going to uh, show you guys about. You're going to grab your iron bars and stick them on top of these black coal blocks. So this is supposed to represent an exhaust. Kind of comes from the next to the front wheel, along and up. So for the wheels, we're going to do one there, and then just one there. And same on the other side. Like so. Like I said, it's kind of like a go-kart. They stick out uh, another block. Because technically these are not road legal cars. No way they would be. They are so cool though. Very, very cool. And I kind of want one in real life now. May have to save up a little bit. <laughs> but for now, let's build our own one in Minecraft. So, now scrap all the stuff you have in your inventory, because you are going to need iron trapdoors. You're going to need to grab that lever again, because we need to gonna, we need to like gonna go underneath the vehicle to uh, sort out the, the grill and things like that. You're going to need item frame, a block of gold for the front. You're also going to need a block of redstone for the back. You're also going to need some stripped oak wood, just here, for the back bit as well. We're also going to grab a glass pane for the two wing mirrors on the side there, and some red carpet. And if we've missed any materials out, I do apologise, we'll go back and find them later. Oh, that's the other thing. <laughs> As I say that, we do need string. String is our, a lifesaver in this situation, because the roof we need to fill it in, but we also need to leave a space because we need to look like there's a driver's seat there. So, before we fill in the actual roof, we're going to come to the front, put the grill on, and as you can see, we need that grill to kind of be stepped up so I just destroyed the wrong block my bad okay let's just take that off a second so we can grab our red concrete block back and the red concrete has vanished from me there it is okay all right so plonk that back in grab your iron trap door and we're just going to stick a lever just right there and that puts up the front grill as you can see so we're going to put item frames on these things here and then stick the block of gold on the side there in inside of it sorry you're going to come to the back now and fill this oops, this section in with the stripped oak wood. And you're going to come at one block out, so this bit is stick, stick, sticking to the wood, basically. Grab your item frame and stick it on the sides now. 
and then block of redstone in the back there as well. Pretty cool stuff. Now once you've done that, you can also want to like kind of put the exhaust bit on here because it's kind of where the fuel intake is, so it's quite a bulky situation. And what I did for this was I actually had to go underneath the vehicle, so we are going to have to do the same but from the outside. So what I did was I went underneath here, like so. Don't worry, you can always fill back in the road afterwards and go underneath this iron and put the leaves back like that. And do the same on the other side. So it's a little bit of a breaking process, a little bit annoying sometimes, but you get it done quicker than you would having to like figure out how to put the leaves on without showing them. So it's an easy enough solution. So we can just fill this entire section in, help with recall the leafers. There you go. Okay. That section's filled in, and just fill this one in, quick as you can, there you go. Okay, now we're going to put our, well we're going to get a trapdoor quickly, and we're going to stick that, just a normal trapdoor, you don't have to have any fancy one, but if you do, if you want to, you can. So that adds like a little look at the front there, but you can also put it down to cover up that lever in there. We're going to fill in the back in a second, for now stick your string connecting these two glass blocks here. Let's grab our red concrete again, I always forget you need quite a bit of red concrete for this build. And it's no problem. And now you can just fill this entire section in with, with a red con uh, carpet. Always cool. Alright, nice one. Come to the side and on this last block of glass you can stick your two glass panes for the wing mirrors. And this gap in the middle, you can leave it empty if you want to. You can also put a door in the back there if you want to to kind of get to the driver's seat and then out to the back. Uh, it's up to you, really is up to you. you. You can do whatever you would like with it. Now we're just going to come to the front grill again and stick some red carpet in the front. You can also stick red carpet on the wheels if you wanted to, but I'm going to leave mine blank because I've found a picture online of the vehicle from the film and it looks quite uh, bare on the wheels, literally just the wheels, and then it's like this blue ex uh, suspension attached to it, which is really awesome. So that is pretty much all you need to do, guys. So before we end the tutorial, I will show you how you can kind of change these up if you wanted to. I did try and use some, a redstone compensator and repeater, but if you look, you can't place it on a glass block which is really annoying. I wonder if you can place a trick wire hook. No you can't. Okay I don't think you can place it that way around. I tried things like a railway track, an actual detector rail because it's got those little lumps in. They actually look quite good so if you just change this entire thing. Look it kind of looks like three horns going that way. I know the vehicle has like five but if we're going to build like five horns you'd have to boot, build a massive vehicle. So. I think levers do the job for me at the moment, but if you guys want to use any of those solutions I came up with, or you have your own, definitely let me know, because I can go and uh, fix my my model, my model. Uh, and but yeah, that seems to be the only thing that's wrong with this build. But it's pretty cool still. I absolutely love the movie, and I really wanted to build something for you guys. So I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please definitely leave a like if you have. And if you'd like to subscribe for more tutorials from different movies, we have Spider-Man, we have Yoda, we have all different types of ones on here. We even have Stranger Things now. Look how cool this looks. Morgan's lab with Hopper's police truck just there. We also have Toothless, and I was working on a run in Hermione for my uh, Harry Potter there. Um, but he's... Yeah, they need some more work. But <laughs> thank you so much for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Like I said, if you don't want to leave a like, that would be really appreciated. Take it easy, and I will see you at the next Minecraft tutorial. Peace.